22nd January 2024. Hallelujah. Then again, I was in the spirit and I'm praying in the spirit and my eyes as they have never missed now gaze towards the United Kingdom and I always gaze in that nation almost every year so my eyes went there and then I saw a great destabilization a great destabilization and it is it is a sudden destabilization and a pressure upon their new their current prime minister a pressure upon him and he was shaken and there was chaos and he became so unstable and what my eyes saw I saw something that could easily take that nation in a more negative area. So I started to pray because I knew that we were responsible for the intercession of the leaderships all over this globe and the way I saw him becoming unstable and what I could perceive was on the line, I saw like he was almost being removed. He said, this guy has just, and I was surprised as well in the spirit. He said, this guy has just come in, another lady has just, and then how come, you know, as soon as, and you know, you know me that whenever I see in the UK, everything happens. Eh? <laughs> so you better tell those guys to prepare. <laughs> Hallelujah. Almost five months later, Rishi Sunak, who only recently became prime minister, was so destabilized by the pressure from multiple political scandals that he called a surprising general election when he did not have to, nor was it at all expected in a stunning fulfillment of prophecy. Sunak was quickly appointed prime minister. His aim? to rid the party of chaos and uncertainty. But the damage was done. The Tory party's approval ratings had already plummeted. They continued to struggle with rising illegal migration and high inflation. As Sunak's problems mounted, the now former Prime Minister shocked us all. And we will have a general election on the 4th of July. From day one, Sunak's campaign struggled to gain momentum. Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future. For Rishi Sunak, it began in the rain and it never got better. A lacklustre campaign from the start. Hi, everyone. Offending veterans. On reflection, that was a mistake and I apologise. Alienating voters, dodgy betting, and even failing to win over those whose very instinct is to follow. For the Tories, the game was up. The question now is who do you trust? This all started with Rishi Sunak thinking he could pull off one of the greatest comebacks in British electoral history and overturn a massive Labour lead. And then he went out in the rain to tell the nation that he was going to call the election. Earlier today, I spoke with His Majesty the King to request the dissolution of Parliament. And it went very downhill, very fast. Are you confident the same in ship going into this election? It is a sudden destabilisation and a pressure upon their new, their current Prime Minister. A pressure upon him. First big news out of the UK overnight, besieged PM Rishi Sunak calling a snap and early election for the 4th of July. Now I've been around campaigns, this one from the Conservatives, I have to tell you, off to a horrid start. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced yesterday that the next election would take place on July 4th. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett is following the latest for us from London. So Charlie, why call this election now and what has the reaction been like? Uh, Lindsay, shocked, uh, confused. Some people are calling it political suicide. Richie Sunak was, was not elected, okay? So he's, he follows uh, five, six, I think, for those keeping count at home. So after David Cameron came Theresa May, then there was Boris Johnson. 
Then there was Liz Truss, if you remember, for 45 days, and now Rishi Sunak. And as I said, behind. So people are saying it's a heck of a gamble. You would have thought that they'd need more time to catch up to the conservatives, maybe in the autumn. But yeah, what's going to happen? Fourth of July. Today's announcement is panicked last minute. Well, the prime minister has chosen suicide over obliteration. It could be the end of the Conservative Party after 200 years as we know it. Six months and three days later, in an astounding display of the power of prophecy, then UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak resigned after losing a historic general election to the Labour Party candidate Keir Starmer, ending the Conservative Party's power hold in the United Kingdom. Well, the UK has awoken to a political changing of the guard this morning, with Britain's Labour Party claiming a landslide victory in the country's general election. Voters booted Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservative Party from government after 14 years in power. I will shortly be seeing His Majesty the King to offer my resignation as Prime Minister. This morning, Britain has a new Prime Minister. I have just returned from Buckingham Palace, where I accepted an invitation from His Majesty the King to form the next government of this great nation. The way I saw him becoming unstable and what I could perceive was on the line, I saw like he was almost being removed. You see, this guy is just, and I was surprised as well in the spirit. The UK general election, one of the most important votes in a generation. There's Rishi Sunak on stage now. It would be extraordinary, and the first time in history, if he were to lose his seat. It's an incredibly safe seat. The British people have delivered a sobering verdict tonight. The Labour Party has won this general election, and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him. The word of Prophet Elvis Mbonye, with undisputed precision on every topic and aspect, has prevailed no matter how inconceivable the outcome. We celebrate and accord double honor upon the most trusted custodian of the mysteries of God revealed to our generation, Prophet Elvis Mbonye.